Hello everyone, welcome to YRR Help and in this video I'm gonna talk about uh, Spring Boots Activator. So basically Spring Boots Activator is useful when you want to monitor your uh, production running application and when you want to debug certain things uh, even in uh, development phase. So uh, Activator exposes uh, certain uh, REST API endpoints and uh, each API endpoint has a, uh, has a purpose and it gives a certain metrics. So I'll talk about each and every endpoint. So, but uh, before that, let me show you how to configure this uh, actuator uh, into a Spring application. So I have a basic Spring Boot application uh, which is running on 8082 port and it is not configured with uh, actuator. Uh, the first thing you want to do is that you have to pull that Maven dependency and uh, for that you can go to uh, Spring Initializer site and uh, search for uh, actuator and the one which you need is a spring boot activator select that and if you already have a project you don't really have to uh, generate the source code you could just click on explore and uh, just copy that uh, dependency so in our case it is a spring boot starter activator so just uh, copy the dependency so that's the only dependency you need and go to your project form.xml and add the dependency so all right after adding the dependency just uh, start your server and after starting a server uh, if you want to access uh, actuator metrics all you have to do is that you have to go to your uh, application and uh, just type uh, actuator so that's how you access uh, actuator so uh, it's uh, everything is exposed through rest api so this activator API is not the actual uh, metrics API. So as you can see, it's not actually returning any metrics or any information related to your application. But what it returns is all the available uh, metrics or all the available APIs which you can use uh, to get that information. Uh, like for example, in my case, I have, uh, so, so, so you can think of this like a container for all the available uh, metrics if you look at my uh, previous example sorry if you look at my uh, previous uh, application which is running on 8081 so it has uh, it has so many apis as well so the, by default uh, spring doesn't uh, expose all the apis it exposes only certain apis so if you want to access all the remaining uh, all or all the available apis all you have to do is that you have to tweak application or properties so uh, go to your application or properties and add this property so basically what it means is that you are uh, telling to spring to expose all the available actuator uh, apis or the actuator metrics now uh, don't worry uh, i have provided uh, this property in the description you can just uh, copy and paste now after adding this uh, property just uh, try to restart and uh, after restarting your uh, application, you should be able to see all other APIs. Now each API exposes a certain information, uh, like for example, uh, there's an API called uh, Beans. So uh, this Beans API exposes all the Beans which are recognized by a Spring application context. And uh, let's say for example, I have um, uh, a service, a service component and uh, let me copy this one and uh, when i try to search for this so you can see that uh, spring uh, application so you can see that uh, this api exposes um, this particular product service because it is an uh, spring bean so uh, you can see the scope uh, so yeah, i think it's singleton and you can see all the dependencies as well um, so uh, like in my product service i have a dependency which is product repo uh, so it's trying to expose that information as well so that's all about uh, beans api now uh, there are a few other apis like for example uh, if, if there's a cache api uh, which exposes information regarding cache so currently i don't have any cache mechanism so if you have you can uh, access there and uh, there's another api health so this is uh, just like a ping service um, just uh, just for the client to check whether your uh, service is up and running or not and uh, so uh, so there's uh, one more api which is uh, config properties uh, so these are all the properties uh, which are used by spring boot 
uh, or, uh, or you can think of these properties as the default uh, properties which are configured by Spring Boot for you. Uh, like for example, you can see a port. So port, uh, currently you are seeing uh, 8082. Uh, that's because uh, we have uh, overridden the property here. And, and in case, uh, if, you, if you haven't specified this property, uh, you might see the default one which is 8084. So if you want to see what, what is the default value of any configuration, you can always have a look at here. Alright, so that's about uh, config params and uh, there's uh, one more API called ENV. So this API exposes all the in information related to your environment like for example, uh, uh, your uh, Java runtime environment and uh, like for example, a library path, class path and also your um, uh, system environmental variables uh, etc and etc and at the end you can see uh, application or properties as well so also uh, these are all the properties which i have configured in application or properties so you can see that information as well all right so uh, that's all about environment api and uh, this one more api uh, info so this info uh, is where you put your custom information. Let's say, for example, as part of this health checks or as part of this metrics, uh, if you want to display something like um, how many users are active, like on how many users are inactive, anything related to your application. And if you want to customize this API, there's a way to do it. And I'm going to show you how to display custom information through this API in the next video um, so uh, but for now you can just think of uh, info api as a custom information api now uh, there's uh, one more api called loggers so here you can see the log level whether a particular package is enabled for uh, info debug or trace uh, etc so, uh, you can even download a uh, heap dump and thread dump and you don't really have to use another tools uh, to download a uh, heap dump or thread dump you can directly uh, download here now uh, at the end uh, you have two APIs uh, which is HTTP trace and mappings so HTTP trace uh, will give you all the recent requests to your server uh, like um, let's say for example uh, if, I, if I try to hit this uh, like a schedule tasks and uh, I'm hitting this API schedule tasks so this is my uh, latest hit to the server and uh, when I refresh this, uh, you can see that the latest hit, hit is a uh, scheduled task. So, uh, so this, uh, so this is one way to see uh, what are the latest requests, and uh, so what is the response for that request? Like uh, in my case, it was successful, so the uh, so the response is uh, 200, and uh, you can get a uh, few other information like uh, when was the request came, and etc. So that's all about HTTP trace API. And uh, there's one more thing called uh, Mappings API. So this is uh, very much helpful when you are uh, debugging your uh, HTTP endpoints. Um, so, so in my case, I have an uh, in HTTP endpoint or a REST endpoint, which is at the products. So uh, if I want to see uh, to which class it is mapped to, uh, I can just search the path. And I can see here, so I can see that uh, this uh, path is mapped to this class. So, uh, so that's uh, pretty much about mappings on HTTP trace API. So uh, there are a few other things uh, which I didn't uh, discuss, but uh, you can have a look at them as well. So as I said in my next video, uh, I'm going to show you how to display custom information using uh, Info API. So thanks for viewing guys. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe us.